What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Pepsicle, and I am going to do my best to explain to you very simply leverage and margin and what that means. And I have two different scenarios, so hopefully you'll be able to grasp the concept um, with one of them. So, for example, let's say that this is you right here, okay? And you really want to buy this house for $100,000, but you don't have any money, see? There's no money in your hands. So you have to go to the bank to get that money, right? And the bank's like, for sure, we'll lend you that money, no problem. So the bank will front you the money to buy this house, okay? So in terms of your broker, think of your broker as the bank, okay? I don't know if I can write broker with this. I'll try. <laughs> All right, so think of your broker as the bank. And what they're doing is they're fronting you be careful with your broker you'll end up broke but they're fronting you money to trade with in the market so if we pretended that this was the market right and they're like sure we'll give you some money put a hundred dollars cash in your account and we'll make it like it's a thousand dollars and then that way you can trade with like a thousand dollars of power in the market even though you only have a hundred dollars in your account okay so it's the same thing the bank does when you go to take out a loan for a car or a house they front you the money that you don't have okay um, so that you can go purchase whatever it is that you want to purchase it's the same concept all right so I have one more way of explaining it for you um, let's just talk about leverage one more time these are different types of leverage uh, or different leverages that each broker has up here and so it's gonna vary you need to be careful with the higher ones because the higher the leverage, the higher the reward, but also the higher the loss, okay? And the lower ones, lower reward, okay? So I prefer to kind of stay somewhere in the middle because I feel like it kind of gives me the benefit and the feeling of, wow, I actually made some money without being like, oh my God, I just lost $30 in one pit, okay? So um, leverage then, right? is how much money of your brokers that you are allowed to use in the markets, okay? So maybe we can draw, hmm, let me think. We're going to draw like uh, something that represents the markets for you guys. Okay, so we have like, we have these, <sighs> these are just going to represent like what we do in the market, okay? So we have these beautiful candlesticks here, okay? So this is where we this is what we spend our money on these candlesticks okay so basically that's what the that's what the leverage is for it's it's your broker's money right that you're using and you're using it to buy and sell in the market okay uh, so then for margin over here on the right hand side right margin is or your free margin is your leftover money that you have to trade with uh, you know, aside from the open positions that you have. So let's say that you went into the market here, right? And you decided to buy, um, Euro USD and you decided to buy, um, let's see, GBP, I don't know, AUD. Okay. So you bought those two pairs, right? And you bought those two pairs and because you have a high leverage, right? you still have some money left over in your margin, okay? So your your free margin means that's what's left over for you to continue to trade with. That's what is not tied up in these two trades, okay? So you're going to have like leftover money, so to speak, to spend, all right? So let's say you have um, these two pairs and you over leveraged or let's just say you used a large amount to trade with with these two pairs right and you're like oh i'm gonna go trade gold and your metatrader for or your broker says sorry you don't have enough money left it's because you don't have any more free margin to use to cover you know that that cost so to speak of of what you want to trade so again i'm going to make it really simple if possible right? Leverage is how much of your broker's money you can use in the market to trade with. And margin or your free margin is what's left over to trade with after all of your open positions. So I have one more analogy uh, to use and that 
will conclude this very elementary way of doing this. So let's say down here, all right? I'm over here, right here, and I got money. I have $5. And you are over here, and you have no dollars, okay? A big fat zero. You have no money. So you're like, hey, can I uh, borrow $5? And I'm like, oh, for sure. You can you could borrow five dollars. Just give me a dollar down, a dollar down payment. So you're like, okay, I will give you a dollar down payment because that's all I have, and I needed some more money. So you have, oops, let's just go like this. Let's just say you had one dollar. Okay, so you're trading me that dollar. You're giving me this dollar in exchange for me to give you my five dollars that I'm lending you okay and you go out and you go buy potato chips and soda and now you have spent four dollars all you have left is one dollar and you want to go to the movies but you can't go to the movies because you only have a dollar left it's the same concept as up here with the with the euro um USD and the GBP scenario okay you're like oh crap I'm gonna hop in this gold trade it's freaking on fire right now right and you go to hop in and your broker's like um no you're broke you don't have enough free margin to cover you on that you're not going to the movies tonight is basically what's happening so hopefully this is not too insane uh, if you guys have any questions let me know and feel free to show some love